In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create a grading from a feature line set. First thing we'll show you is how to get to the grading tools. Uh, in our home tab, under grading, we have grading creation tools, and we'll start there. This has quite a few different features uh, to show you um, what the grading is be being created, what surface it's going to, um, the cut and fill, what those slopes are going to be, as well as volume creation tools and volume for cut and fill. So to start off, we'll just show you from the left here, this is selecting the grading group. If you're doing multiple gradings, you can group several of them together with similar properties of grading. And you can right here just can click if I want grading group one or grading group two. If you grading groups would be uh, preferential if you're using a, a on a site and you have multiple gradings. On that site, you can use all the various cut and fill volumes and put it into one group and that way you can know if you have to take soil on or off site and uh, so we can set that here if you need to create a new one you can create a new one um, with this button here um, so that's the first thing once you've selected your grading group it's going to uh, show up right here and so that's the the current grading group is set to grading group 2 uh, the surface <coughs> the surface that I'm for my target and that's the target to go down to um, is set to this EG, and EG is the contour lines here. Um, currently we only have one surface that's set right here, so that is um, when you create a grading and you specify a cut or fill, it's going to extend, that cut or fill will extend until it reaches some surface, so that is our target surface, and that's referenced right here. Um, next we're going to get into um, here, which is the grading criteria. So the grading criteria is very important and when you go in here you will need to um, either you can create a new one or in our case I'm just going to edit this one so you can see what the different defaults are <coughs> so information just has the name and under criteria uh, you'll notice a couple things under cut and fill we have slope and so you can change all of these these variables here for kind of the default uh, projection for each of those uh, but the most important piece here is this surface. So this is uh, based on how you want the grading to extend from uh, the feature line set. So from the feature line set, it will be either cut or fill, extending uh, outward or inward, depending on which location you set. And you can either extend that grading, cut or fill, to a surface, you can set it to a certain elevation, or you can set a certain distance from the feature line. In our case, we're going to want to use surface here. This gives the uh, most accurate um, <coughs> value for what we will be using it for. So we'll just hit OK there. So our grading criteria is set. You can always go back and edit that. Um, here is where we will create the grading in a second. We'll come back to that. This is for editing and deleting gradings. Um, and here is volume tools, which we'll look at in the next video. Now here are two important uh, pieces. This is just the grading editor, so if we want to go in and gr uh, edit um, a, a grading, I could click there and then select on a certain point in the grading. Currently we don't have one. Whoop, and I'll get back to... Um, uh, and then there's this one, which is the elevation editor, and we'll show you that in the... Uh, that, that's from the uh, feature line set. You should remember that. And then the two more, grading group properties and the grading properties. So uh, if you go into grading properties, this is showing us that we do indeed are using grading group 2. And when we do this, in this grading group 2, we want to set it to automatic surface creation. So we will create a surface here. It's set to grading group 2. Um, and this creates a surface. Instead of just visually showing you that where the grading is going to be, it actually creates a surface, which is useful for Im importing into profiles. And so that uh, grading group is set there. Uh, grading group 2 gives you the spacing and angles, and then also this volume base surface. Both of these are needed in order to calculate volume fills for uh, grading and cut and fill. So make sure both of those are checked there. And we'll click OK, so our grading group is set OK. And then uh, grading group properties or grading properties. This is, if I click on that, oh, that is for a specific grading. So, um, I'm gonna close it one more time. So, you can check and see what your current setup is by clicking this down arrow. It opens and hides. 
uh, the grading method so you can see what it is, what your cut and slope style is. Uh, typically cut is set to red and then fill is set to green so you can see where you're pulling dirt from and where you're uh, placing soil. We'll move that back up. Once we have everything set there, uh, we will go ahead and create our grading. So I will, under this tab, create grading and it's going to ask me to select the feature. I will select this uh, feature and it's going to ask for the grading side. So if this, in this case, the feature line is all set at the same elevation. So we want to keep this with a pad with a constant elevation in the center and on the outside is where we want it to uh, cut into the bank for cut and then fill in areas that are, are lower. So we will select on the outside so that the grading extends from the flat surface outside uh, and down from there. So we will apply this to the entire length by hitting enter and then it will ask you to uh, affirm the default settings for cut slope and fill slope. We can extend these if we want to. Uh, we can change them on the fly. So 3.0 if we wanted to and 3.0 and then it creates the grading. So you'll see that our grading is created here with a uh, <coughs> green representing the fill so this is the lower part of the bank uh, so lower part is being filled in and up here is the red this is being cut in so there's a cut portion here and a fill portion there and it visually shows you that so from here <coughs> um, the next step is to actually check and see what the volume of each of the cut and fill is and to, to monitor that and edit the gratings and we'll show you that in the next tutorial